Hey, everyone. I haven't done one of these for a while. Um, all right. So one of the things I wanted to mention was that I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this or not, but in my lives on Mondays and Thursdays, um, for the first 20 minutes, sometimes I do a messages from spirit, you know, things that have been coming to me, downloads that, that have been coming to me, messages I want to share with you guys that are important or things that are going on. So if you've been missing my messages from spirit, they've just moved over to my lives. Um, it's just more convenient that way. And I'm starting to timestamp them too. So if you want to just look real quick under the live videos and see what, what I'm talking about, see what kind of messages I'm sharing as in that message, you can kind of cheat and look down there in the timestamps to see what the messages are about or if you want to hear them kind of thing. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to mention was somebody made a comment underneath one of my lives where I had warned of a three days of darkness. And look, Annie just stepped into the picture in that moment and she's kind of hiding. <laughs> That's how I met her, by the way. <laughs> That's what she looked like when I met her. It was so cute. She saw me looking at her and she was like, oh, <laughs> Annie, what are you doing, love? What are you doing, sweetie? Anyway. So uh, <laughs> these guys just captivate me. Um, all right. So the other thing is this three days of darkness thing. Somebody said, um, you really, you caught me off guard talking about the dark thing. It's so negative, something or other. I was like, you know, negative or positive is what you make it. You're the one who ma who's making it negative if you thought of it as negative. Okay. So that's the first thing. <laughs> Number two, I said that it was a really incredible thing. Okay, so um, no, incredible is a lot different than negative. Okay, <laughs> now sometimes, it, like if I were to try to warn a baby that's coming out of the belly of its mother, I would maybe warn it that you know this could there could be some pressure involved. It'll be real, real dark. You'll be going through a real, real tight space. But on the other side of it is total freedom. I mean, you'll be so excited and exhilarated to be alive. Um, that's kind of, that's, you know, that would be how I would describe that. Would you say birthing is a bad or negative experience? Only if you make it that way again, only if you make it that way. But what I described is that we could be uncomfortable. And the only reason that I, I feel I should share this with you guys is if there is any way that I can bring peace and love and direction and guidance to your life, I will do so. And if there's any way that I can help you feel better about something that could happen that might be frightening, hell yeah, am I going to do that? Because I want you to move through any type of, of hairy experience with more ease and confidence and power, okay? Don't stick your head in the sands, people. Seriously, you guys need to know about certain things that are going on so that you can handle it better. If you know how to best prepare and if you know what's coming ahead for you, then it's much more um, of an enjoyable experience, or at least you can get through it with more ease, okay? So this three days of darkness, it's really basically, <laughs> it's really basically, um, and this isn't, these are from, this is from Cryon and some other channelers. I haven't channeled it, but I have gotten that it is coming soon. And people have um, had readings with me and asked me how to best prepare and stuff like that. And um you know, so I've, I, I have felt into it, but I, I'm not the master of this experience. Okay. So I don't actually know how it'll be. And it'll be different from ev for everybody, depending on your vibration, of course. Some people will actually hibernate through it, from what I understand. Not everybody. Some of you think that everybody's going to. No, 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 no. This is why there needs to be preparation and why I need to let you know what's going to be going on. It could be very uncomfortable. From what I understand, the first day is going to be um, uh, pitch black and real cold real cold. Um, so you could get hand warmers to stick in your bed. You're not going to want to move around a lot. You're not going to want to do a heck of a lot of anything. You may lose your appetite for a few days. You may not want to eat. Uh, you may lose a bunch of weight because what we're going to be going through is an energetic process. It's not anything we're used to. 
and things that are outside the norm and the things that we're not used to, sometimes we freak out about it. We have an anxiety attack or, or whatever it is. But if you can anticipate it, have your anxiety pills nearby, you know, um, and by that, I mean, natural anxiety pills, <laughs> you know, hopefully you guys are weaning off of any kind of pharmaceuticals at all. You don't want to be dependent on that stuff right now. You want to be all natural. Um, at least I would advise that if you feel like you have to fine, but if you can wean yourself off of any pharmaceuticals, I would highly advise it um, because we're coming into more natural times. Okay, so, all right. Um, so you could have hand warmers that you stick in the bed to keep you warm. You could, um, if you have solar powered things, go charge them up right now. If, if flashlights that you had now are dead, go get batteries. Um, if, you know, if you wanna keep some, some liquids and some food right by you, you know, I basically took a drawer that's right next to me and um, filled it up with all kinds of things um, just so I could grab a candle or grab a flashlight and go um, have some extra blankets, but also remember your capability, your ability to um, regulate your temperature within your body using your mind. So just imagine being very warm and let your, let your mind overcome the matter. Um, it's, you are not going to be in any kind of danger. You're not going to be, and let me repeat that. You're not going to be in any kind of danger except from your own mind, okay? So that's the most important takeaway you can take from this. It is somewhat of a test of the soul. Um, do not let your fears get the best of you. Do not panic. Know that it's a natural process. Uh, Cryon uses a really great example of, you know, fish being in an aquarium and their light being, um, put, you know, turned off. <clears throat> so the aquarium could be cleaned out, right? And then there's a bunch of muck and, and, and so their poo gets all mixed up with the old food that's laying on the ground, on the gravel. It's all going to get mixed up. And then you guys will, might think something of that. Oh, oh you know, whatever, go, whatever you experience for those few days. And, and it could last up to a week. But the darkest parts are going to be the first three days anyway. The second day um, will, it could be your hardest, um, but every, again, everyone's going to be different, but your second day is going to be uh, like you, those, those fears might really come up. By the third day, um, you should start feeling better. Your regular, your temperature should be all right. This is, um, this is, like I said, it's an energetic thing. So it's going to appear really, really cold. It's going to seem really, really cold but you've got total control over it. You, you can make yourself warm without needing physical things. Something that we'll have to get used to in, in the new earth. So we're gonna be moving, basically, we're gonna be moving quickly through the 4D, um, which that's kind of the, the shadow stuff that lingers within. And then we're gonna pop out in the 5D. And when we get to the 5D, you guys will thank me for everything I've taught you all these years. So, because you'll be ready, you'll be prepared, you'll have let go of some things and you're just going to buoy up to the top and be very, very happy and blissed out. Uh, you will not be experiencing life the same way you do now. Time will not look the same anymore. You will be lifted. You, you may not eat as much. You will only eat things that are really good for you and you'll want to. <laughs> you will crave those things. You'll love those things. You will grow those things. Um, you know, it'd be a very loving, wonderful place to be in. So the ones that are going to suffer through those times, the one that will feel like it's a negative experience are those negative people with negative mindsets that freak out over everything and anything. So that's why it's been important for you guys to heal all this time so that you're not so easily triggered. Um, so basically, yeah, I mean, even, even the, even the most healed of us are going to be tempted to panic be just because it is so completely outside the norm and thoughts will pop in our head probably of Armageddon and all kinds of crazy things. So don't even worry about it. Um, the dam is probably going to bust. Of course it's going to bust. Um, so I don't know which one is going to come sooner. Um, which one is it going to be? And then the EBS system might kick in, but it's not going to be all big and dramatic like you guys may have been anticipating. 
Um, and of course, it depends on the timeline that you're on, because so, so for some people, they might experience something pretty dramatic. But um, I think there'll be a lot of information that comes out the EBS emergency broadcast system. You know, so they're going to steer us towards somewhere where we can view some information or or hear some information that really enlightens us into as to what's um, what's going on in our world right now. And, um, and it's got nothing to do with any kind of sickness. Okay. Um, and it will, will be a little bit, um, ha- hard to swallow for some people who don't know anything. Um, if you've had your head in the sand, it's going to be very, very difficult for you, which is why I've been trying to, um, you know, enlighten you all along and let you know what's been going on all along. However, everyone's supposed to go through whatever they go through. So you're here you know, for this incredible experience, the birthing of the new earth. I mean, I can't imagine signing up for something more important and so incredible, right? So good job. Many of you are acing it. Many of you are doing even better than you think you're doing. Um, so yeah, happening soon, guys, happening soon. And if it doesn't happen, who cares, right? Slough it off. It's, it's no, nothing off your back if it never happens, but at least you were prepared. At least you were mentally prepared. You were physically prepared as best you could be. It never hurts to be prepared. It never does. Um, I, <laughs> um, my husband, John, <laughs> used to make fun of me because I had all this, uh, I had like a, like a trunk in the living room and it was full of like a propane heater, blankets, candles, all this stuff in case of an emergency or something or like the power outage or whatever. And he would just make fun of me and he'd just be like, Oh, misprepared, you know, <laughs> and I'd be like, well, you know, it makes me feel good to be prepared for things. If they never happen, that's awesome. And if they do, I got it, you know? And so one day we had a power outage for a long time, for a very long time. And he was so grateful he was just like, I cannot thank you enough. I am. I will never give you a hard time again. You got it all here, ready to go. You this, you made this experience so fun and so comfortable. We ended up having a picnic in the dark. It was romantic. It was fun. It was it was a great experience. Now, if I hadn't have been prepared, that could have been okay too. It probably would have would have involved running to the neighbor's house, asking if they have something, you know, or whatever, it wouldn't have been as fun and it wouldn't have been as easy and it wouldn't have been as comfortable if I wouldn't have been prepared. So don't even worry what people think about you. Okay. Or call you crazy for, for being prepared. Those people are crazy for not being prepared. You know, whatever you can look at it from so many different perspectives. I'm saying, don't worry about it. And I'm saying that, um, you know, do what you can to prepare as best you can and then let it go. You know, maybe you can't do anything and you're like, dang, I don't even have the money or the resources to even get any of that stuff. That's fine. Gather what you can. Get all your candles together and get all your lighters together or something. You know, just whatever you can. You, somebody's got a blanket, you know. So, um, and it may not even be anything close to uh, what we think it's going to be either. It may really surprise us. I mean, if we go through the hibernation, it'll be like, waking up and almost nothing happened except it'll be a little about from what I understand after the three days, it kind of starts to look like you can see a little bit of dawn or dusk. Um, and, and, uh, that'll go on all day long. You'll probably really be wanting that sun back, <laughs> you know, after a few days of this, you're going to be like, where's the sun already, but be patient because you're basically going through the birth canal of the new earth. Okay. And you're being birthed into a brand new earth and a new experience. And all of us coming into a much more harmonious time um, in a, in a free time, a time of freedom. So this is very, 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 very exciting. Um, So focus on the outcome, you know, and meditate, meditate and stay very much in the moment when you're going through um, anything uncertain like that. Now, this could pertain to anything in your life. It could be, you know, any stressful situation, scary situation, a situation you don't know how to navigate very well, something uh, unpredictable happens, you know, anything like that. Um, This is how you handle it. You breathe, you meditate, you talk to God, and you ask for a little hand holding if you need to and ask the angels to reassure you, and they will. 
Um, so, uh, yeah, take it, take it with a grain of salt and also just um, do your best to stay present because that's where your power is. And that's also where your mind isn't going to be taking you on some kind of a trip, a nasty trip. <laughs> so, um, all right. So I'm just going to pull a couple of cards. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for staying busy. So I think what they're saying is it's a time for, for slowing down. It's a time for really like get ready now. A, a lot of you are feeling this energy coming. I mean, I always pray for things to be shown to me before they happen so that I can be prepared you know, as best I can. Sometimes they surprise me. <laughs> Sometimes they surprise me, but it's because there was some kind of a lesson in it or something I need, needed to learn. So you might be busy right now running around trying to get ready for it. I know that I have been. I know that I've been labeling things, organizing things, really doing some deep cleaning, you know, all kinds of things. I've been tying up all these loose ends and things in preparation for some crazy things to start rolling out between now and June. Um, so it'll, so it'll go a, lot, go a lot easier and I have a lot more uh, flex time in there. Um, yeah, so yeah, you might be busy right now, but it's, it's so that at, when you go through this, you'll be able to just be still. Okay, stay strong in your faith through this period. You're gonna be going through some deep emotional healing as a result of this experience. And just have self-confidence through God confidence. Know that the universe knows what it's doing. God knows what it's doing. And it's, its plan is to prosper you, not to harm you. Just remember that scripture. I don't know what that scripture is. Yeah, see, spiritual and religious community. You of like-minded people are coming. You of like minds are coming together um, for wellness, for balancing, to bring in prosperity with this new financial system that's, that's rolling out. It's getting you ready to love again. And it's helping you reveal your true self because you're going to get to the heart of the matter. You're going to have a lot of time to really do some, some good reflecting. Okay. Um, any of these cards? You're at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon the angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. You're a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Okay, so some of you may have somebody in your environment that you'll have to soothe and comfort through this. Um, if that's the case, you know, then that's part of your purpose in that. Also, some of you may be, may be birthed into the new earth to be teachers and um, someone, someone said, I like the word sharing better, like, you know, cause no one's above anybody. I don't necessarily think that the teacher, well, sometimes teachers can be seen as above you. I've never seen that. I've always seen them as, as equal or felt like, uh, you know, I want, because we, we could look at anybody across from us and want to emulate some kind of characteristic of theirs, right? Just because they have special knowledge in something. Um, doesn't, you know, you also have special knowledge in something. So yeah, it's sharing, it's, it's, you might be sharing in this new earth and whatever decisions that you make through this, through this experience, um, ask yourself, which, if you have to make a decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine life purpose and which way would take me away from it? Stay on course, stay on path and keep your faith. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. So be expecting that assistance and help and be open. You have to be open to it. Uh, you also might have a new romance, um, either with a newcomer or through reignited passion with your existing relationship or past relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. So maybe something unexpected will happen and somebody that you love might show up. Um, or this experience is going to give birth to that love experience with your, with your true love. Your emotions are going to go through a healing which opens you to greater love. This period will also help you release anger and unforgiveness from your mind. So those things will come up for you 
you know, beating yourself up, feeling guilty, um, feeling angry at what someone's done to you or hasn't done or whatever it is. Um, but focus on healing that focus on forgiving and moving through it. Don't stay stuck. Cause this is your, this is a big opportunity for you to once and for all shed those things. Infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all your tomorrows. You'll be just fine. There's nothing to fear in this experience. I'm telling you guys, except for fear itself, nothing to fear, but fear itself. This is like a final test before making it to graduation. You know what I mean? It's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. So that's what this is about, giving birth to new conditions, blossoming. Eric, Kira, there she is again. You're just getting started, so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. Um, avoid increasing, um, you are becoming increasingly sensitive, so avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals through this time. Try to stay sober through this experience. Um, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success, so you're going to be going through this also to, to help you increase your confidence that you're capable, that you're completely capable all by yourself um, to take care of yourself, to care for your needs, to care for the needs of others. Like maybe you're going to realize you're a natural born leader, you know, and true love is coming. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So this is bringing, this is bringing that love through for you. Okay, so I feel like maybe a couple coins, and I think I think we're done. <laughs> I don't know what. Yeah, it goes that way. I'm sure, or that way. Magic of the moon to manifest. Just as the light of the moon ebbs and flows, all things happen according to a timing that benefits the greater garden of life. Which is why sometimes things don't happen when you anticipate. You know, the EBS, we've been expecting that for a long time. But our anticipation makes it go further and further in the future. And a lot of people haven't woken up enough yet. So everything happens in divine order. And you could celebrate this happening because you'll be like, wow, we must have been ready for this. This is so exciting. It wouldn't be happening if we weren't ready for it, you know. Um, how short-lived that garden would seem if all the flowers bloomed at once and then it was over. As the next moon grows full, that might be a clue. Set your intention. Your time for blossoming is near. So you're becoming who you're meant to be through this process. Well, that's kind of, that's actually a picture that makes sense in this deck. She's actually writing one of those things. What is it? I don't know what that is. Uniquely you, the more we are willing to become authentic rather than conventional, the more we will need to eschew conditioning in favor of aliveness. Be willing to run the risk of being authentic so that you can live from your heart and experience real joy. Yay. All right, one more. Unpredictable grace. So it's unpredictable, right? It is not lack of courage that makes you question the path before you sometimes. It is uncertainty. There is no need to doubt. Just steps to take one after the other in the moment. And as you do this, all can then unfold as it must with the blessing of my powerful, if unpredictable, grace. So you are going to be, oh, they said one more. Wait, is it that one, though? <laughs> uh, oh, they said the ancestors will be with you. Like, oh, my gosh, anyone who's passed away, any animals who passed away, they're all going to be around you on that second day. Oh, it brought me to the same card. Oh, my gosh. It's never too late. If you have forgotten who you are, know that your true self has never gone away and never will. Underneath every layer of conditioning, under twisting and turning and trying to fit into some shape to please others, your true self remains true, ready and waiting to rise up in original gorgeousness and glory. It is never too late for you to choose to be you. Wow, that gave me chills. That's awesome. All right. One more deck. <laughs> oh, liquid just flipped over accidentally. <laughs> so this card is agreeing with what I've said in this video. 
but it's also saying that this is going to be a gift from God, okay? God itself is offering you a gift. Here, here, honey, I love you. Let me take you into this new earth. It's going to feel a little uncomfortable and a little strange, but trust me, okay? Because we're going to pull through this and it's going to be really the, the land of milk and honey. It will be dripping wonderful blessings, okay? Could also be um, opportunities. Sharing of yourself. I'm an incredibly generous being. So be thinking of other people as you're going through this as well and praying for other people. Be thinking about like, I wonder what my neighbors are going through right now. I wonder if my best friend's going through right now. I wonder what my cousin's going through right now. I wonder, you know, just take yourself through and like uh, think about all the various people, uh, people with children, people without children, people alone, people think of all the different people that you know and send blessings to all of them in their different situations because you're launching your journey. I'm an intrepid traveler sailing forth into the universe, into the new earth. Your bags are packed, you're ready to go, and you're going to this new earth very soon. Trust your intuition. My life is truly guided and know that your life is truly guided. That is the key. That's why you got a keyhole here because you have the key within yourself. Communicate with spirit as you go through this and expect miracles. Miracles are blossoming in my life. It's going to be a miraculous event, not a negative one, not a scary one. It may, be, it may, may involve a little bit of scariness because you're not used to it, but stay totally flexible with an open mind and know that miracles are happening and they will be. It's going to, this, is, this event is going to exceed your expectations. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, you guys have yourself a beautiful day. And uh, hopefully this gives you some peace in mind. It gives you peace of mind. Um, just be in the flow. Just be with the flow of it. I'm in the flow of the universe. And just go through the night like this. This is how you're going to be going through the three, the three days. Just, all right, I'm trusting. I'm in this little pod going down this little, this little, what do you call a wormhole or something in the universe. It's dark and it's cold. I will tell you guys too, if you guys remember my Osho event that where um, the gal put the, her thumb on my third eye and I went through this incredible experience whipping through this blue, this blue wormhole thing. Um, when I, toward the end, do you guys remember I started shaking and shivering? I was just like freezing cold, but yet I wasn't uncomfortable. It was like something was being shed off of me. And I think that that's probably why you're going to be cold is I think that it's going to be like that. You're going to be going through some type of a wormhole toward the new earth and it's going to feel very cold, but yet I didn't feel cold at the same time. It was really weird because I was shaking and shivering my teeth were chattering and I hate being cold, but I wasn't uncomfortable at all. And in fact, I wanted her to leave me in there because I was having such an incredible experience. I was just like, leave me alone, leave me alone. I want to be freezing cold. I don't care, you know, and which is so contradictory to, to how I am normally. I normally would never ever think of thinking any of that if I was cold. <laughs> so but she was telling her ladies, like, help her, help her wake up, gently help her wake up, help her come out of this zone that she's in because she's starting to really shiver. And inside me, though, I was like, bring it on, bring it on. I could tell it was burning like karma off. It was burning some things off of me. So you can look at it like that, too, as you're going through it. Just be like, oh, good. It's burning the karma off of me. It feels cold, but it's not an uncomfortable cold. It's just taking, taking some things away and off of me, okay? Um, so maybe, maybe that will help too. All right, you guys, have yourselves a beautiful day and week. Oh, now I got told to pull Moonology card. A new start is coming. Look at that. The sun will come out after this dark time. Look at that. And it's going to be glorious. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Luck is on your side. Don't let your past hold you back. Don't hold on to anything in the past. Just go for the ride. Don't be too concerned. Like if you have somebody who's not with you going through that, your emotions might be running high 
but don't, don't sit there and try to control it. And don't, don't try to get to your kid or don't try to get to your parent or don't try, don't, don't just take care of yourself and pray for the person, pray for the person you're thinking of and just send tons of love. Okay. You'll get through anything, anything difficult. If you stay in this, in the space of love and yes, luck is on your side. Love is on your side. Just keep your intention completely focused on that sun coming up on the other side of that darkness. Anything else? Believe in the impossible, guys. All right. <laughs> Do you want to show anything else? Okay. For some of you who are on the verge of reaching out to the one you love before this happens, be bold and make that first move. I felt a little wink. It's time to take action. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in getting a reading, you can check out my services at amysatori.com forward slash services. You can also join me on Patreon, where I do a monthly energies reading, pick a deck, messages from spirit, and more. Subscribe to me on alternative channels such as BitChute, Brand New Tube, Huge Tube, and the Collective Super Channel if you want to be sure we stay connected. Feel free to follow me on Instagram or reach out on Telegram as well. If you're interested in some great health boosting products I'm a huge fan of, please enter the URL below in your browser for more information. Also, check for the latest updates in the description of my videos as I try to keep them up to date. Thank you so much and have yourself a beautiful day.